Greetings, Daniel Presedo for Adobe Photoshop, and today we're going to look at 3D Fun Actions. You may be asking yourself, what can you do with 3D and actions? You can do quite a bit, and here is a good example. I'm going to start off with all, I'm just going to run them all at once here, and none of these were created with objects outside of Photoshop. These were, these were all generated within the confines of Photoshop using filters and selections and custom shapes. In this case, a heart custom shape with an inflation on it. There are things you can do with text, like logos and things like that, like for maybe a sci-fi simulation text effect. And custom shapes. You can generate different lighting effects, different material effects. So you can take the time to rip some of these things apart. Even a Facebook nameplate. You can change your name here, edit the name and put your name in there and have it rendered out and post it to all your friends. And they will be totally amazed that you did 3D in Photoshop. They'll like, be like, I didn't even know there was 3D in Photoshop. And you'll be like, yeah. So anyway, with regards to that, you can continue the journey of like just generating different ideas, in this case, like a moonlit water effect, to think about how to use actions to automate a lot of things you may want to do, generate design elements, create Christmas ornaments, you know, pushing holes inside the ornaments. So you can put the hooks in there, setting it to shapeways, 3D printing here. You can use actions for a number of activities, including interesting effects. You know, for example, you don't have to ship a 3D object. You can ship a 3D action for this case. Hey, what about this refraction effect on text? Would this be cool for XYZ design? And this way, you have a very small file to send. It's just an action. If they have the same Photoshop version you do, I think it'll. this actions that I've created are compatible to at least CS6, I believe. There's nothing unique that would not make this work in, in anything else. But I'm not putting these out there yet because I want to test some of these things. So if you are interested, you have CS6 or CC, and you just want to try these things out, you know, post a comment. We can get in touch with one another, and I can send you the file. In the meantime, I'm going to continue testing and seeing if these things are of interest to everyone out there. If they are, then I may just post them on Creative Cloud and what you see is what you get. You can all try them out and then give feedback and we can always update them accordingly. If you have questions, post them on the channel. I'll get to them as soon as I can. Thanks again for watching.